you're about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers-in-arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck, and lest us all beseech the blessings of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking.
Betray those Bangalores! Damn it! We gotta get the wire cleared! Patterson, you're up! Get over here! Private Jones has enough Bangalores to clear a hole in the wire, but he's pinned behind that Belgian gate down the line! Help Jones back to our position! We'll give you cover fire! Wait for my order! Covering fire! Go, go, go! You give me cover. Stay behind me and keep shooting. Ready?
mal ein paar hundert übrig. Das sind jetzt aber tausend am Stück. Ja. June 6, 1944. 175,000 Allied soldiers breached the walls of Fortress Europe through intense German resistance. By late June, Sherberg had fallen, giving the Allies the port they so desperately needed. By early August, Eisenhower had amassed an Allied army of over one million strong. Treacherous field-to-field -field hedgerow fighting unleashed a breakout across France. With the Germans in full retreat, the Allies marched into Paris. Field Marshal Montgomery moved north into Belgium, while General Patton and the Third Army pushed to the Siegfried Line. It was here that the Allies encountered their newest enemy, the lack of sufficient supplies. Patton's plan was to run straight through the teeth of the Siegfried Line directly to Berlin. Monty had devised a daring airborne operation that had the potential of ending the war by Christmas. 
Having only enough supplies to support one advance, the fate of thousands rested in the hands of the few. With Allied superiority on land, sea and air, what could go wrong?